Hi everyone and welcome to a quick Goon Squad tutorial on baking. Now baking used to be the main thing back in the day when sculpt maps were the you know in fashion in Second Life and even now with meshes they're still good especially if you're trying to make like mesh templates or random items for sale you don't feel like texturing them from people you can just you know do a quick bake and then ship it on out so that's what I'll be teaching you today uh, just a quick apology my original computer blew up and while it's being repaired my friend is letting me borrow her workhorse so um, pardon me if some of the things that I usually would do like the screencast or whatever uh, I don't have <laughs> sorry so that's enough chatter let's begin this and like I said I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible so we're gonna start by importing our mesh or our object in world in this case I have a keytar that I picked up somewhere heaven knows where I found this um, and I'm gonna bake a map for it so if our keytar imported in world close that we're going to open up a new window and with our new window open we're going to go into and select down like the menu thingy right here and we're going to select UV image editor this keytar came unwrapped and you have to unwrap your model first before you go into baking if you don't bake you if you don't unwrap you can't bake so this has already been unwrapped and unfortunately I don't know how to unwrap manually so I wouldn't be able to tell you how to do that so you're on your own with that so let's assume you have it unwrapped we're going to um, go and press tab and go into edit mode and then we're going to press the A key and select it all and you can see over here in the UV menu that the unwrapping is right here but even though the unwrapping is there, there's no texture on it. So we're going to have to create a new texture. So go down here to new, press the button, and we're going to name it Baking Sheet 2. Only because there was a Baking Sheet 1 before my video crashed. And hit OK. So now we have a texture to bake on. So before we can bake, we have to do a few preparation steps. We're going to go over here to the globe icon, which is actually the world. So we're going to click that and you're going to scan down until you see this right here. Ambient occlusion, I think is how that word is set pronounced. If not, I'm sorry, you know, you can read, I can't. <laughs> so check the box and when you check it, you'll see a bunch of options pop up. And we're going to go down to this one here that says samples. Um, it's probably when you click it at a lower number. Um, I set mine to 20 because that's how I was taught to use it. Uh, the lower the number is, the faster it will bake, but it will be grainier. And the higher the number is, the longer it'll take the bake and it'll be um, more solid. So uh, I stick at 20 because that seems to work out for me. So I would suggest putting uh, samples in at 20. Okay, now that we have our temperature set for baking, we're going to go over here to the render mode or this little camera up here. And we're going to scan down until you see bake. Now, just for, just for quick, is just a note that it's best that you have the blender render on. I forgot to say that. If you have cycles, the bake goes away. So, blender render, I mean, blender render, and then you'll see the bake. All right, so now we have Blender Render on, and we have Bake. We're going to change the Bake mode from Full Render to the Ambient one. And I forget what these do, so feel free to play with those when you have uh, free time. But you could just leave those alone as, you know, make sure the clear is checked right now. Um and press bake and as you can see if I'm not lagging out it's starting to bake the texture on the side this side can't see me point to the screen
It is an inferno in this house. I'm just gonna pause until it's finished baking. Okay, the baking has just finished up. Uh, as you see, the little baking bar is gone. And as we pull it out of the oven, press A, you see we have a baked map of our keytar. So we're gonna go into object mode and we're gonna switch the rendering from solid to texture. And ta da! You see, it's baked onto um, our model has its baked texture. Now it's only black because there's um, no lighting bit there, but I don't think it will show up black when we um, save it. So to save, you just save it like you would any other texture. You know, file, save image as, and then you know, hits OK and save, and just lap it on the model when you import it in world and there you have it that's baking 101 um, you can play around with the other buttons down here or you know any other settings maybe not use this ambient one try uh, normals or full render and see how that plays out with you oh crap I broke it <laughs> oh man it's checking stop it and see how that plays out but I just use the ambient one. It's a quick way of doing it. So that's it for this tutorial. As always, have fun with your creations and good luck. If I can get this to stop recording. <laughs>